Okay, what do we have here? It's a 1992 Chevrolet Caprice police car. Uh, I've brought this into the country under the new rules where you can bring in vehicles that are 25 years old. And this is a 350 powered uh, Chevrolet genuine police car. It's a college police car. And unlike many police cars used in the States, that are normally run into the ground, this one only has about 76,000 miles on it. So um, yes, it's been out in the desert and it's pretty faded, but it's in remarkably good condition in terms of uh, there's no rust. A uh, few little dings and dents here and there, but you know, very original car. I've already started buying some uh, bits and pieces to start putting it together. So you can see here, unlike say LAPD, this is a Los Angeles Community College District car. And so I probably spent a lot of time, you know, idling away in college grounds and just doing general circuits in the area. It's not a car that's sort of 24 hours out on the, on the street on, on patrol, as it were, you know, running 24-7. Uh, it's a 9C1 package, which is the police package, so it's got all the elements, you know, um, <clears throat> silicon radiator hoses, uh, calibrated speedometer. Uh, it's got, you know, all the strengthening in the body, which these cars had. Um, you'll notice the dash is pretty cracked up there, but I've actually got a really nice dashboard out of another wreck to replace it with. And uh, it needs a very good clean. Uh, you can see the interior, it's like a cloth interior, and um, but that, that'll clean up fine, you know, with a bit of TLC. Uh, some of the dash pieces are missing, but I've actually got those with the car. Uh, I've got a new dash pad, as I mentioned, so it's pretty cracked up at the moment. It's got power windows. Um, obviously, there's no controls for the windows in the back for the, the perpetrators, as it were, because if you look in here, you'll see they actually get a vinyl interior versus the police in the uh, cloth interior. I guess that's so it could be hosed out and cleaned out a lot easier um, as sometimes the perpetrators are want to do some unsavoury things in the vehicle. Uh, it's got a digital dash, but it's also got a calibrated speedometer, which is the police certified speedometer. Um, as I said, body strengthening as well. All the doors are being closed really well. Uh, the decals on this side are actually better than the other side. I'd like to reproduce those decals if I need to. Love this, dedicated to truth, service, and honor. And uh, I guess the American way. Uh, let's see, the paint on the back's pretty faded. It was out in sort of Bakersfield area, so we're out, you know, that area out in the middle of the desert. So, you know, a lot of sun baking, but all that stuff is pretty easy to re replace or fix. Um, this decal can be reproduced fairly easily. These areas here were where the police antennas were, so I've actually got those. They've been plugged up to stop water getting into the trunk or the boot. Uh, you can see it's police car number 22 here. So uh, Now, in terms of police cars, you're probably thinking, well, where are all the lights on the roof? Well, they have slick tops, which are police cars that don't have the lights on the roof. They may have the lights inside the rear parcel shelves, but not actually externally to the vehicle. Um, but being a college uh, vehicle, police car it, it doesn't have the lights on the outside it's got its uh, Los Angeles County College police car number on the roof it's going to be identified by the air by helicopter or whatever and it's also got uh, the spotlights on the front which are the factory spotlights so I've gone through the options codes on this car and uh, you can actually look up all the different options that were specific to police cars so it's really cool uh, as you can see there, see the decals are either faded or, or they're faded. You can see where they were, but they need to be replaced. For some reason it lost a front parking light uh, in transit from being picked up to going to the shipper in uh, San Francisco. But I went online, I was able to get some new old stock ones, a pair of them actually for like $39. So it was a bargain. I also bought a uh, hood ornament as well. Uh, I've got a fuel pump for it, although I know there's one in the car as well which is probably a bit of a telltale as to maybe it had some issues with it. It does turn over and uh, yeah, it's going to be a restoration project, but how cool is this? Very unusual car. You don't see a lot of these. This was the aero designed uh, Chevrolet, you know, the sister cars to it are the Buick Roadmaster and there was an Alton Bill version in the station wagon, a custom cruiser. Then there was the large Cadillac Fleetwood as well. I've actually got a Cadillac, um, it's still in the States though. With the, the Cadillac's got the LT1 high output engine 96. This is a 92, so it's got the 350 throttle body injection. Um, and uh, it's got the earlier body, which 
you can see in the real rear wheel arches here that they're sort of lowered down over the covering the back wheel whereas the later um, Chevy Caprice and the Caprice SS's or Impala SS's which you'd be familiar with um, they have that open wheel arch which a lot of people prefer the open wheel arch the later model ones but I don't I actually like the original design I think this is more in keeping with the, uh, the original design so yeah anyway that's it Chevrolet Caprice 1992 police car how good is it tell me what you think subscribe comment and like if you don't like it well maybe don't say anything nasty but i like the car and i hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching